Hey, what's going on you guys? I'm Veggie Rolls, and if this is your first time stopping by, welcome! Welcome either way, but uh, if this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It looks like this. Also, the little notification bell next to it, so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a turkeyless vegan cutlet. And this is an alternative for uh, any sort of, like, you know, meat or during Thanksgiving or... Anytime during fall or anytime you would like to make this recipe really so the reason why I'm sharing these recipes early on and I'm doing fallathon vegan fallathon recipes early on is because uh, I Had a bad experience last year looking for vegan recipes because last year was my first vegan Thanksgiving So I had a hard time finding recipes on time. I started seeing like people post vegan like Thanksgiving recipes like maybe like half a week before and it was just really hard for me to find recipes which is why I'm sharing them early that way you guys have a chance to try out what you like and plan your Thanksgiving if you would like to use any of these recipes so this is not the beginning of Fallathon, Fallathon uh, starts next week but this is I guess part of my fall playlist so I will also link the fall playlist down below and yeah let's get veggie Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So in here I already have one can of chickpeas that has been uh, mashed or I actually put this into the food processor and just uh, uh, pulsed it until it became a texture like that. And like I said, that's a can of chickpeas. Next we're going to go ahead and add half of a cup of chopped carrots and these carrots have been chopped really nice and small I'm also going to be adding a half of a cup of chopped onions I'm using white onion and I'm also going to be doing two tablespoons of green onions next I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of flour I'm using all-purpose flour and a fourth of a cup of uh, breadcrumbs and these are just plain breadcrumbs for our spices, uh, we're going to be using one teaspoon of sage, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of rosemary, and one tablespoon of parsley. As usual, the link for the full recipe will be down below. And next I'm going to go ahead and add uh, one flaxseed egg. So basically, um, I used one tablespoon of flaxseed ground and two and a half tablespoons of water. Mixed it up and let it sit for a few minutes until it became like that little gelatinous kind of consistency. Just before I mix this up, I'm going to go ahead and add a pinch of salt. And then we mix. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and form this into patties. So I'm just simply going to be taking like a nice small handful and pressing it in my hand. And then in circular motions, sort of just go around like that. And with my thumb, I'm just pressing to make sure that the edges stay together nice. I don't like these to be too thick. I like these to be nice and thin. You can make them as thick as you like, but this is sort of like the thinness that I prefer. Alright, so here I have a nonstick pan with just a little bit of vegetable oil and I'm going to go ahead and uh, place our cutlets straight onto the pan. The heat is on a medium high heat. You want these to really get nice and brown, so you want to keep this heat pretty high. These have been cooking for three minutes on that side, and we're going to go ahead and flip it and cook it for another three minutes on the other side. So in about three minutes, you should check the other side, and the other side should be uh, nice and brown like this side. And you can go ahead and turn off the heat and remove these um, from your pan. Alright guys, so you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test cam. So I have a piece of the little vegan cutlet here, and I'm going in. Mm. That is so yummy. And I think 
that this will go fantastic with my vegan gravy, which I will also link down below. Um, yes, so good. Yeah, you guys have to try all this recipe and let me know what you guys think. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food can be. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.